Hi, everybody. Welcome to Custody Matters Live. My name is Danica Joan, and I have my co-host, Bud Vino. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you. It's been so long. Oh, Danica, it feels like it's been forever. Thank you, my friend. Again, Danica Joan, along with myself, Bud Vino, February 12th, which, Danica, you know 12 is my day. So it's going to be a great show. 2020 air date, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Danica, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it because we have two wonderful guests on today. We're so excited to have them on. Uh, people that will be joining us at the conference April 24th and 25th. Danica, who are they? Oh, my goodness. We have Caroline Rena and Noel New. Uh, here and what what we were choosing to do from here until our April event April 24th and 25th in Lakeland, Florida is to showcase with um, the people who are speaking the people who are going to be on the stage other than you and me um, So welcome Caroline and Noel Thanks, Danica. Thank you. All right, so tell us tell us a little bit. I know something uh, one of the things that you bring into this conference is peace and love and, and, and tranquility. So tell us a little bit about um, what that looks like for you. Well, uh, basically, yeah, the thing that um, our focus is uh, about the healing. And so healing within your heart and, uh, you know, dealing with the, the external difficulties, the challenges and stuff that comes up. But um, that's why we focus on the music and the, the healing words in our music and the healing tones as well as our discussions and our talk and our experiences and strength and hope. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're really, we key in on the healing aspect of, uh, of trauma. Okay. Awesome. And um, didn't they say something, Bud, didn't they say something about sharing a little bit of music with us? Well, yes, they're definitely going to do that. And first I want to say, I did it again, again, Danica. Brought to you by the Dad Talk Today Network, Custody Matters Live. I'm going to get it right uh, by next week, I promise. Thank you to Eric Carroll and everybody at Dad Talk Today. Uh, yes, when we had a discussion with Caroline, uh, she had mentioned her affinity for music, and we talked about the importance of music and the whole vibration, and, and, and they're going to be doing some things now at the conference we're excited about. So Caroline brought up perhaps doing something on the show here. And, of course, we were excited about that, Danica. So let's let them do that, see what they have to offer. I know it's a lot. Okay, take it away. Okay. So the name of this song is called Long and Lonely Road. And whenever you feel like you're all alone, there's always something deeper to reach into. And down the road again. Surrendering to me, I love and free. 
Exactly as I am. trusty notepad. I said, never alone, right, guys? And that's what yeah. this is all about. You guys are incredible. And I also thought, Danica, about what if you and I tried to bust out and do something like that? I, that see, amazing talent, but you can just do that, and, and people can feel you. I, I respect that. I love that, and I can't wait. You're both getting one of those genuine hugs down there. And I'm going <laughs> to put the lighter up when you're, when you're playing. Amazing, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I'm, I am ready. I tell you what, I, I do, I have a I have gone to a, a, a drum circle or two. I have hosted a drum circle or two in my backyard. So now you've gotten me inspired. Um, it, there's just something very therapeutic about um, acoustic music, guitar and singing. Um, it's really good. It, it's something that a lot of our viewers need to, to find their center and their peace. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people find their inspiration in that, uh, you know, music is cathartic uh, mm -hmm. for most of us. Uh, and I know also it's an escape, but also it's a form of empowerment. And, and you definitely brought that, all, all angles, uh, a range of emotions. So, again, hats off. I, I sound good when I sing, but only in the shower and when the water's really covering my ears. You guys sound good in real life. Uh, you sound incredible. Again, hats off. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I um, I think I sing good. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you'll have to join us over there. Come on up. <laughs> I said yeah. I think. No, we'll find what we well, know. We know. Well, yeah, Janet, Janet could just put herself into a corner by saying that. You guys are going to put her on the spot down there and we might. In, in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. No, I tell you, we have. We do have um somebody that I met. We are going to be having. Uh, a Miss Miss America contestant that's going to give a little bit of her, um, a little bit of a testimony of her experience of like she stands for, um, what is it? Suicide prevention, and part of what came up was the the experience of going through the divorce of her parents when they were young, mm -hmm. and uh, and so and I only bring that up is because I she came to a Kiwanis meeting. And she sang the national national anthem. So we will have some singers out there. So. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we always talk folks. about we always talk right. about we're not performing, we're sharing, you know, and connecting. So that takes away the energy of uh, the nervousness. I mean, you still get a little nervous, but it's mostly like just sharing the energy. And uh, that's really what we're about to do. Authenticity. Authenticity. That, that there's the key right there. When people get when you bring that, that's the thing that people can feel that they might not totally understand. They're like, well, I'm really drawn to that or that person, whatever that energy is. You know, we can feel it. And sometimes we don't always understand it, but we understand it. We got that secret, right? We know that secret that isn't such a secret. Uh, and you guys bring it uh, in an incredible way. So, again, we had Don McCarty on last week, too. Uh, and we've had, a, we've had quite the buildup of guests. And you guys, uh, you guys are incredible, too. And we're all going to be down there. Again, Lakeland, Florida, April 24th and 25th, 2020. Somebody get down there and join us, Danica. 
Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be great. I've got, um, we are in, still continuing. We finally went live with the, the landing page. So if you're interested in uh, jumping in and registering, we have like early bird pricing. And I think it's a, like 125 early bird pricing. Get yourself, get yourself locked in. We do have limited seats available because it's gonna be done in an auditorium at the art museum around the corner. So you wanna make sure that you get to be one of those. And, and of course, in the community, it's in, it's in a historic district. Lots of opportunities to, um, to res reserve like Airbnb, someplace that's very affordable. Lakeland is a very affordable place. Unlike what I discovered down in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> 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 Why I drove all night to get home instead of stopping to sleep. Yeah, Danica was wiped out. Uh, I, I can confirm that. When Danica says I have to recuperate, basically I have to recharge and she's vanishes, she's definitely tired. And she dated herself. She said, well, you know, at my age, at my age. At yeah, my age, I need to recharge at Danica. Really? You, know, you shouldn't say things like that, Danica. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, uh, no, she's, you're doing great. And I said, fake it till you make it. So again, she's doing great either way because we can't tell. You seem great, Danica. You seem alive. And I'm doing ready. great. You know, speaking of age, I just love it. Like, um, people are like, um, they'll ask me how many kids I have. They're like, oh, you have one or two kids? I'm like, no, I have five. <laughs> so. That always fools me too. But that's I all. love the shock value of it. I love yeah, it. Five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, what is it? If I ahead. could, what is it that brought you two folks together, Caroline? No, what what is it that you brought you guys together on this journey of life? Oh boy, that's an interesting question. <laughs> well, obviously, I've I've always felt that we were meant to meet the people who come into our lives. I think we kind of set it up, you know, and we don't realize it. And sometimes it loops back around and, you know, like bringing us together and that type of thing. But I was actually uh, working on doing a writing support group a year ago. And um, I was looking for a space to do it in. And Noel is a licensed psychotherapist in South Florida. Um, and he has an office. And so we got in contact uh, I went to his office, we talked for a while, and we were planning the writing group, and then one day we just started talking about music, because he, in his office, he had a setup of his keyboard and, and guitar and that, and that, um, some other things, and I was like, hey, you want to play some, uh, cover songs, and he's like, sure, why not, he doesn't really like doing cover songs, <laughs> Um, so we played those for a little, for a few minutes, and then he's like, well, you want to hear how I write a song? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so um, he just started, he has this knack of just kind of, I call it downloading. He just kind of downloads this tune, and he just starts playing it. And he's, what do you call it? Um, vocalizing. Vocalizing, yeah. He started vocalizing, which is no words, nonsense words or whatever. And I started hearing the words. And after a few minutes, I'm like, hold on, hold on. I grabbed a piece of paper and we wrote the song that we just played for you guys in about an hour and a half. And that's how we started. And we've been getting closer and using um, our own exper personal experiences and our experiences together to write our music. Um, and when I say experiences, I don't just mean life. I mean healing experiences because we do our healing work uh, with each other and separately and um, the music comes from that. So it brings to you, um, the listener, you know, emotions of what we've been through because so we get it, we understand. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how we got together. If you want to add anything to that one. <laughs> well, no, it was really, it was really an easy flow, yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry, no, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. But what I was going to say too, it's, I, I almost use the word ironic, but there's no such word, right, Caroline? You know, when we, because I have that firm belief as well, we're all put, you know, on this path and everybody comes into our life for a reason uh, and it's just how you view it. Um, and I get excited when people like yourselves come into my life because I say, ooh, it's meant to be. So I, it makes me excited. What is it? What is it? Well, here's part of what we're doing right now. Um, that sort of exposure and you guys, uh, you know, I thought of this too as you guys were speaking to the folks out there. Everybody has has that flame, and sometimes we don't realize it because it gets so low. And 
be with people to ignite that flame. Like I could feel your excitement when you were reminiscing about, you know, how your relationship started and that music and getting each other's juices flowing. And that is something that Dan and I do for each other. And I implore people to find people like that in their lives, that ignite that fire and, and encourage them to harness and, 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 and go forward with their, with their hearts. Because that's what this life is about. If you're not helping people in this life, Danica, you're not living this life right. I applaud you guys. Absolutely. I get what you're saying. It is, it's something that even that music just really resonates in just be there, be present, be calm, uh, and know that everything is in divine right order even the even the messes like just recently just yesterday i was really clear that that um all of all that i've gone through and all of um the ups and the downs the pain with uh, with my children and in the divorce conflict and stuff like that it it was horribly painful and i would never ch have chosen to be have gone through that. And the gift in it was that I am so grateful and so appreciative of the life that I have now and the people that I've met along the way. Um, and, and you really have focusing on gratitude changes everything. Uh, Danica, we talk about that all the time. And it's amazing what you reference there too. And I'm sure that Noel and Caroline can, can confirm this as well. It's the, those tough times in the moment or, or those horrible things are obviously a lot of times they are horrible, but if you can hang on and see the value in it and the lesson in it, it helps you in the future when you're experiencing, and I never even say going through because it puts that victimization on it for me. I say things I've experienced because it's not what I've gone through or been victimized by. It's what has this taught me to make me stronger? And if you can get through that in the moment, in the future, again, you can look when you're in that moment and say, okay, this is a seemingly horrible thing but it's a gift because there's a reason this came into my life and redirected me one way or the other whether it was to as danica mentioned uh teach me gratitude for what 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 is uh when most people uh, a lot of times my stepfather used to say no matter how bad you have it somebody out there has it worse so again live in gratitude and in those moments okay i'm down uh caroline have, caroline and i have spoken to and danica off the air before a few weeks ago about uh, remember, Danica, talking about almost that fetal position, you know, almost when we were dead and, and felt like there was nothing left and we were done. And then all of a sudden, boom. So people in that moment, hang on. There's a lesson in it and greatness is coming. And again, greatness is coming to Florida on April 24th and 25th, 2020. Danica's neck of the woods. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because of all these people that we've met along the way. There's this, there's a huge planning committee and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and i've added people people are like hey i want to be involved and and um and it's we meet and and it's just building up momentum and every and excitement and everybody who's involved is involved from the heart in in what we're up to because this conference what makes it unique and special is it comes from love it comes from love and contribution and that's the most important thing I want to, I'm glad you said that because a lot of the, or all the work that we do is, is heart work. It's, it's coming from love, unconditional love. You know, everybody goes through something and we're there to, you know, kind of guide them through it with the music, with the other work that we do. And it's just so important to um, be able to connect with our own hearts because all of us are love at the baseline. I mean, we were born as babies. We're, we're not these, you know, these things haven't happened to us yet. Or, you know, we don't become who we become or whatever. And it's love. You start as love. So it's all, always there. It's just getting back into it and relearning how to love yourself and then putting it out there to the world. So I'm really, really glad you said that because that is so, so important. It, <laughs> Caroline, I get, I get excited, uh, Deanna, because we always, again, we'll talk about we meet for a reason. And we, we are what we eat. What we, we are what we attract. And I've said numerous times too, when we're born, we're innately love. We're love. We're, it's, it's, we don't know any other, we're just, we are. And all those other things chisel us down, all that garbage. So when you get back to those roots and go, whoa, what feels best? For me, it's authenticity, as we, we've discussed. 
and love, that genuine love. And what's that secret to success? It's love. That Jim Carrey's the actors refer to that too. Go look at look up a video called The Meaning on YouTube. It's on there, and he refers to that uh, tender heart. Don't don't lose your roots. And remember, um, that is where we all come from. Again, so uh, Caroline, it's amazing, but not really. It's totally expected that you would have that same sort of grasp on it. So absolutely awesome, and you can feel the love. You can feel it. You can feel it. And I know people out there can too. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. In fact, next week I'm flying out to Dallas, going to check in with one of our, one of our uh, speakers, Wendy Perry, while I'm out there. Super excited about that. Being able to, and, and there's so many of these people who are coming together that I've had a relationship a long time with them in the advocacy world, but didn't get to actually see them firsthand. So, and one being you, bud. Yes. And, and Danica, the one, I don't know if I've said, you of all people are going to get that huge bear hug. I can't wait uh, to finally see you in the flesh. Does Danica really exist? Or is she a figment of my imagination? I think she's real. I'll be able to pinch her too. Uh, April 24th, 25th, 2020, Danica, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're excited. We're excited. No, 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 no. Not Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Where? Franklin, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused where you went over the weekend. Okay, so um, just to give you a little rundown, so we're going to be doing on on Friday, April the 24th, we're going to just do, do this, like, we're jam-packing um, uh, speakers, amazing speakers, um, like, and it's on the landing page, all, uh, most all the speakers that are speaking. So we're doing that. We've also got continuing education credits for professionals because we really want to get those professionals in, those, administ those school administrators, those mental health counselors, those mediators, those uh, legal professionals in the door because as we all in this space have, have noticed, we don't, um, sometimes they just don't get it. They don't understand. Um, they don't know how to get um, and, and we as parents, we're so caught in the emotion of it that we may not know how to get the word out to them of this is how, this is how you can be part of the healing of our family instead of actually becoming an unknowing, known, uh, you know, an, 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 an accomplice of, uh, one parent or the other, or, you know, and, and it just, this is going to be really great and also obviously for the parents themselves. So we're going to do that on uh, during the day and then at like five o'clock we're going to shift to a meet and greet in downtown Lakeland. Uh, so you can actually meet some of the speakers and, and the organizers and stuff. And then the next morning we do a panel discussion with many of these speakers and community leaders and we're, it's going to take us into a premiere of Erasing Family and it all culminates into a bubbles of love uh, ceremony where we blow bubbles and uh, we're gonna have in downtown uh, Lakeland, we're gonna have um, a table displayed with the literature and lots of bubbles because bubbles attract kids and kids attract their parents so that we well, can have a conversation. Bubbles attract me too, Danica. So I guess that, well, that, as you said, bubbles attract kids. I'm just an overgrown child. So it's going to be wonderful down there. I'm excited about it. I am. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see everybody and spend a little time with everybody personally. And uh, I'm excited. I'm actually again with the racing family. Um, I just wanted to bring that up because you because um, I'm not bragging. I don't like that. I'm in the film. And the film when was when it was being recorded was a huge catalyst for me, for my own healing because of um, Ginger Gentile and her connection with how she puts together this film. I just want you to know how um, grateful I am to have been a part of that film because um, I, I, can't, I can't even put words to it. I'm just saying she's she's got... <laughs> the way she put it together, the way she connected with me, I know how she connected with me. I see how she, you know, how she was connecting and it's just so professional and so heart connecting and healing. And I just wanted to bring that piece up 
um, for Ginger, you know, because that's a big thing. And I'm glad you did. It is. She's amazing. Uh, and we're excited to meet, again, one of the folks in a racing family, Caroline, <laughs> down there with us. So, again, I think as, uh, as Danica was saying that, I was going to reference that. So I'm glad you did. You beat me to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is very important. And it's important to know what the influence that that, that, that and Ginger had in and on your life. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it's so funny because we get to talk and we get so caught up in, in everything. We're like, oh, we forgot this. You right. know? <laughs> like, like that part two, come right. back. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's why Caroline's in our lives. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. The pieces come together. <laughs> so funny. All right, guess what time it is? Oh, it's time to exit already. Let, okay, Danica. Well, but, you know, along with the host of Custody Matters Live, Danica Joan, with our guests, Caroline uh, Reyna and Noel New. Uh, no moves. Try saying that 10 times. Yeah, and thank you. You <laughs> for joining us. Can't wait to see you down in Florida. Thank you for all that you're doing, for taking the time out. Uh, Maybe think I said this on a show we did a while back with Dr. Sally, uh, Danica, but it's worth repeating. I'll paraphrase the great and uh, late Maya Angelou. You did then what you knew how to do when you knew better. You did better. Thank you for joining us in Custom Matters Live this week and every week, Wednesday. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye. We will see you again next week on Custody Matters Live.